The stuff there too. Lanny, seems like it is mostly rain right now for most folks in the triad. Any idea when that's supposed to transition over? Well, I do think over the next hour or two in the triad, maybe sooner. I've been peeking out to over the last 10, 15 minutes because we're starting to see some transition in Forsyth County on the radar. Look at North Carolina A&T and it is grass today, but tomorrow morning we will have snow on the ground. In fact, later on tonight. So we do have some concerns about travel. Now, thankfully, what's happening out there right now has been some rain first, so we've got wet streets are so not as slick as last Friday night, but later on tonight we could get snow in patches on some of the roadways that will continue into morning. And then again, Sunday morning we will not have a whole lot of thawing because the temperatures are going to stay below freezing on Saturday. So we're still anticipating slick travel continuing into Sunday. Winter weather advisories out for Central North Carolina also includes our mountain communities. I'm going to put Wilkes and Surrey into that advisory as well. Even though the weather service has not, you're going to get some accumulating snow. You just may not have have as much and you still may have some travel concerns as we head through the overnight and early tomorrow morning. The temperatures have been dropping through the 30s and that's where we're seeing that transition now from rain to snow. So we've had some reports of that transition taking place in Yakin County, Wilkes County, Surrey County, Stokes County. So Forsyth when Davie County would be the next counties to go here over the next hour or so. We've got a little light snow right now from Sparta up toward Galax and Hillsville. A little heavier patch there near Dobson. Heard from Austin Cabin as he he said, yep, snow is coming down. Roads not slick as of yet, but will be. Notice in the western part of Wilkes County, we've got a little snow too. And then we're seeing it too, kind of pushing in from the north. So that precipitation will change over to snow this evening and will continue through at least midnight in most communities. So you look here, this is about 8 o'clock, and then we'll take you through to about 10 o'clock where most of it is over the triad. And then we're going to see it continuing into the pre-dawn hours. Now, one thing I'm noticing is maybe a shorter duration here. So maybe that gets us on the lower end of our totals, but I do think a good inch in many communities and maybe close to two or more if we get some banding of snow in the Eastern Triad lesser amounts in the mountains and that's simply because the duration the length of the snow that snow window is a little bit shorter and it's going to be shutting off here soon so let me take you through the triad first i think at least through 4 a.m we have some snow amounts one two maybe a little bit more but probably on the low side of that strong wind gusts heading into tomorrow with wind chill values in the teens hazardous travel for the foothills i'll give you until about 2 a.m but it may shut down before midnight in the foothills close to an inch maybe less in some communities, still have the strong winds and the wind chill value in the teens. For the mountains, higher elevations, you could get on the upper end of this. Snow probably now till about midnight before it shuts off. Wind chill values are down below zero, and that's why we have a wind chill advisory out. That's for Ash, Watauga, as well as Allegheny and Grayson counties, and that continues through early Saturday. Frostbite in as little as 30 minutes with these kind of wind chill values through lunchtime tomorrow. Make sure you're protecting your hands and your face. Anything that is exposed if you do have to be out. Best thing would be stay in and hopefully you have that opportunity. You look at forecast wind chill values tomorrow morning. They're below zero in the mountains and they're in the teens across the triad. And then I've already pushed you into tomorrow afternoon and you didn't see the numbers change all that much. So it is going to be a raw day out there tomorrow. Wind chill values will be in the single digits and teens for most of the day because you've got a northwest wind at about 15 to 30 miles an hour. We do get some sun, but I'd be surprised if we get above freezing in the Piedmont Triad. For the foothills, we've got temperatures in the upper 20s, strong winds too. So we're talking about wind chill values in the teens. In the mountains, the temperatures are in the teens all day. The wind is much stronger, 20 to 40 miles an hour, and those wind chill values will likely be in the single digits. This is the best map that I have to show you today because I'm covering up the best part. Ready? There's the reveal. We have got temperatures that are going to be close to 60 degrees, hopefully by next week, and February will start off a whole lot warmer, folks. You're watching WXII 12. And now, the Modern Automotive Sports Report. Laney saved the best for last. When it comes to tobacco